You've got your own show. I've got my chuffing own show loose. Can you believe it? I mean, it's just so exciting. And I heard you earlier, and um, we'll get, we'll talk about this now. Um, but your dad would be so proud of you, wouldn't he? Yes, and it's it's really horrible because obviously he's not here. And like, I had a little bit of a cry last night. Like, just I just couldn't sleep, and I'd, I was like, wish he was just here. Wish he was just here with me and just on this journey with me. But I know he's here. He's around us. He's here today. That's him tweeting. That's the bird tweeting up there, <laughs> tweeting or tweeting or whatever it is. Um, oh, I'm wobbling. Oh, I think this one's had a drink up there. <laughs> <laughs> when you look at that, do you think, wow, you know, I've come, know. I've come quite far, you know? Yes, I have come very, very far. I mean, just I just can't stop looking at that face. I mean, it doesn't even look like me. <laughs> I'm a catfish. <laughs> <laughs> so you're talking about catfish. Last time we saw you properly, we probably still had to go dating last series. Oh, my God. Um, Gift, gift or a curse that you did that? Are you pleased you did it? Yes, I am very glad I did Celebs Go Dating. I mean, like, I have no regrets in life. I think if you're going to live life to the full, you can't have any regrets. And my dad always said that. So I want to follow my dad in that sense. Um, I mean, obviously, I made a couple of bad mistakes. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, this is where I am today. And I'm here. And you're super loved up with your boy, Matt. Yes. Yes. I've got a mortgage. <laughs> Not a yellow M McDonald's, I've got a mortgage. So talk, talk me through how you met him, because I don't actually know this right, story. Right, this is actually hilarious. So I met Matt, so he actually messaged me when I was just about to go next on the beach, and I was like, he messaged me and I was, wasn't interested because I knew I was doing that. Blah, blah, blah. Then I met him at my friend's wedding. It was like love at first sight, literally saw him. I was like, oh my God, why did I not miss like, Why did I not well, miss him? Well, did he slip him a DM? Well, no, we messaged each other before the wedding. He said, are you going to the wedding? I said, oh yeah, you're going to be my date. So, and then he said, oh, we'll have to see. So then got to the wedding, I walked down the aisle. I mean, not me, but I was just late because I was doing a makeup. So I was there late and I was like, oh, sorry guys, false alarm. You know, it's not the bride, it's me, it's Dorsey. So I was walking down the aisle and I saw him. I was like, why have I ignored him? Why have I ignored his messages? Anyway, but I'd obviously replied to the wedding one. Looked over to him, I was like, I really fancy him. Anyway, this is the most funniest story because I was class clowning all night. I was sat on his table. My mum was sat next to him. It was all meant to be. I was acting like class clown, trying to make like trying to make him laugh. He wasn't laughing. Um, it was just I think it was just like what's she doing? Why is she acting like a weirdo? Uh, so I was like trying to get his attention all the time. And then um, my friend kissed him before me because he didn't know I liked him. I know, I know, she kissed him. Honestly, it's like Jerry McHale. She, yeah, so they kissed each other. And then she came back, she said, I really like him. I said, well, no, I really like him. I want him. So I went over and said, I said, I'm going to have to sort this out. So one of my other friends said, right, she really likes you. He went, what? She likes me. She, he, he had no idea. So anyway, my friend just said, I was just trying him out for you. I was just warming up. We were just warming up for you. I'm like, yeah. So, um, so now here we are. We've got a mortgage. Yeah, it's amazing. So it was a big decision getting a place together. Yes. Um, but it's gorgeous now. It's fine. Everything's fallen into place. I mean, it's, it's difficult. I think Tracy's finding it very hard. My mum, mum Trace, she's finding it very hard. Um, but I'm also on cribs as well. So it's my mum's house because mine and Matt's house wasn't ready, and it was very grey and white. And they wanted they wanted a bit of fabulousness. They wanted a bit of sparkle. So I said, come to Tracy's. Come to mine and Tracy's. <laughs> so I've got three rooms full of my clobber, full of it. And I mean, um, and then we've got my dad's study and stuff like that, so it was good. And we saw our bread, our bread cupboard had a bit of some some, some surprises in the bread cupboard anyway. Do you think there might be a little cheeky rock on the on the horizon? Well, this finger, Luce, is very lonely, very lonely, very tough and lonely that. Um, and I mean, it it deserves the rock. It have you hinted? A... Oh, have I hinted <laughs> every day? I'm like, hello, <laughs> morning, morning. <laughs> you, are you frightening him, do you think? No, no, never, never. <laughs> uh, I think he, has, he keeps speaking about it anyway. Okay, it's he's, exciting. I think he's actually going to go and ask my dad's statue if he can, if he can take my hand in marriage. <laughs> are you for real? That is so Well, I've nice. told him he's got to anyway. <laughs> I mean, he's like, what? But you've got to go and ask my dad you know, if you can marry Oh, that him. is so lovely. And what do you think your dad would say to him? <laughs> I mean, I think they'd have a little bit of chat. <laughs> I think my dad, I think my dad would be, I think he'd be a typical dad, do you know what I mean? But I think he'd be very happy, he makes me happy and, you know, he's made me grow up in the right, in the right way. I was going to say that actually because you seem so happy. What do you think the secret is to finding someone and being at peace with yourself? 
think you have to find yourself before you meet someone. Because when I did Celebs Go Dating, we were on a break. We, we weren't, obviously weren't together, because I was on Celebs Go Dating. Um, and I wasn't with him for eight months. And like that, that, them eight months were crazy. I was drunk, I was meeting people and whatever. And I think after that, I was like going through this crazy time. And then when I came out of it, I really found myself again and then we got back together. But you have to actually take time for yourself Learn to love yourself and then you will find the one. Because the one is out there for everybody. Do you think he struggled with you being on the show? He struggled me, me be working because I was working so late at night because he worked so early. So he was like five in the morning and I was getting in at like one o'clock. So he found that difficult because he was like, oh, you know. I'm in, I'm in Celebs Go Dating, watching oh, you date other people, oh, yeah, oh, other people. Yeah. Oh yeah, well we weren't together, were we? But how do so. you get over that? How do you get back together yeah, knowing I think, that I think, that happened? And I think he was a bit nervous about me doing this because I think he was like, what, another dating show? I was like, no, I'm hosting it. I'm <laughs> giving the Dorsey sparkle that you gave me. Because you've always wanted to be a kind of a presenter yes. and a host, haven't you? Yes. So that you were on your way. What, what's next, do you think? What would be the dream like hosting thing? I mean, I'd love to host Love Island. Go on, give us an audition. Oh God, no, I can't do it. Oh, I'm <laughs> We're all night to be two, it's I'm nine o'clock, let's go. I'm not even watched this, cheers. <laughs> no, don't do this to me, Luz. I know, I want to do comedy. Right. So I, want, I really want to get into comedy massively. I want to do, like, stand-up. Because um, I do a lot of makeup masterclasses and they're like a comedy class, basically. And it's like my little practice when I do stand-up. I mean, there's a couple of tough crowds, but by the end of it, they're like, they're like oh my God, it's Is so funny. Is there a funny. huge amount of pressure on you, though, because of your, da your dad was so good and he's so famous? Yeah. Do you think that, that, that that's a worry? Massive, massive. It's a massive pressure, but not worry, because I'm completely different in my own right. Um, <laughs> because I think I'm so glamorous. I look like my dad in drag, really. Um, I've got his chins. I love when you do his face. <laughs> <laughs> Knickers, knockers, knockers. I love it. So that's next, hopefully. Yes, I want, really want to get into comedy massively. Um, I like even do like comedy sketches, anything, just anything with comedy, I know that's for me. Um, and I feel a lot closer to my dad as well. Um, and also my own chuffing chef. That's amazing. Another one. Um, but like following the, oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the life of Dorsey. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.